losing Seems like it's a love And they're abusing And one another My son, you're too weak. That's why women take advantage of you. They flock around you for your money, your inheritance. That's all they see and that's all they want. If not, how would a well brought up girl leave her own house and move into a man's house? A man that she barely knows. What? Bernard! Don't you know that is not good for your system? I mean, must they all be feeding you with sugar? Excuse me, The last time I checked, I was showing affection to the man I truly love. Now tell me, what right? Do you have to interfere in my relationship with Bernard? Sir, please, please. Shut up! You're in a mobile legend, man. Yes! Bernard, if you love yourself, don't waste my ice cream. Because mm. I bought it with my hard earned money. Yo, shit. You're going to be a fair money. Oh, they're going to be a fair money. Yeah, boo. Love that. Sorry about what? I want that slug out of my house now. Bernard! Now! She can't even hide it. Look, my mom only has a problem with the fact that you're living with us. And what's wrong in living with you? What's wrong with it? Living with the guy I'm dating? See, if you want me to leave, then let's end this relationship. You got two different They are the same thing! to leave
Just be nice to mom, okay? He should be nice to me. Don't worry, we'll work something out. girl you hate so much left your boss. No. 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 I did not plan that if that's what you're thinking. No. 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 Okay. So now what else? Honestly Sandra, I don't know. I feel like I've lost my job already. Well, this is a bad advice for me. Never date your boss. The day you lose your relationship, you lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Your brother is asking my friend out and here you are doing the same thing. And hey, aren't you supposed to be my friend's boyfriend? Hmm? My friend. I ain't Shirue. Hmm. Yeah. And I've told you that we are no more together. Am I supposed to be impressed? And you think I care whether you are together or not? I don't give a friggin' shit! The answer is no! I tell you this. My girl. Think about my proposal. I like you so much. You mean so much to me, and this is straight from my heart. It is the truth. Believe me. Think about this. My girl, once again, think about it. I like you so much, and I really mean it. Thank <laughs> you. 
her. You like him. You know, sometimes with the way you reason, I wonder what you're still doing in school. Are you daft? Can't you see they're a family of players? Oh, come on, he's not. Jesus, Kelvin is decent. Kelvin is fine. Kelvin is... He's free-spirited. He's adventurous. I don't know. He's just... I think he's made for me. He just suits me, you know? You just see him, you like him. I like him. Things... He blends. Babes, listen, I'm not begging you. Neither am I forcing you to be with Richie. You see me? I am so with Kelvin. Jesus, that guy is so I can't believe I'm hearing this. Girlfriend, you want my candid advice? Now that you still have the opportunity, better take your two left legs back to Mike. And fast too. You left without informing me. I have no regrets about what happened. I hope you don't. Yes, I, of course, I just need to change it to something more appropriate. Mm. You, you look beautiful like this. You're okay. <sighs> My suppers. Mirabel, I don't know what you want, but I, Michael, want you. She's in the past. What if she comes back and says she's sorry? You have great love for her. I know that. See, it's very hard to forget about your loved ones. But ever since I met you, I realized how different you are. I should be the one worried about your boyfriend coming back. Mike, Richie cannot compare to you in a thousand ways. I guess that's a compliment. What if we're both doing this because we're hurt and need emotional support? I thought as much. But I see us going far beyond that point. Mirabel. I want you. I want you. And I know what I see in you. All I need is just, let's just give it a try. Please. Please, I beg you. To make sense. Come on, take your drink. Richard, what is this? How many times have I told you that I don't appreciate people barging in on me? I'm sorry, Maggie, but I can't sleep. I can't concentrate on anything anymore. And whose fault is that? It's not a fault, baby. It's a feeling. 
and I so enjoy it. Believe me, I've never felt this way for any woman in my life. And you're not feeling it for someone you hardly know. <laughs> How touching. I'm tripped. Everything you do drives me crazy. That is it. You're crazy. In fact, I can see it in your eyes. Just... Maggie, let's stop this joke and get down to serious business. Maggie, this man standing before you is not getting any younger. Baby, wear a smile and you make my day. Trust me, I like you so much. I just said, I just have to tell you, okay? You know, your Richie has been hitting on me. And on several occasions I've told him no, and yet he won't just let me be. I don't get him. I can see you're interested in him. If not, you won't sit here and discuss about him instead of being in school. Will you please stop bitching? The fact that you graduated before me doesn't make you any better than I am. And for your information, I care about my friend and that is why I'm here. Friend indeed, Mirabel. She is here to seek for your permission to date your boyfriend. Kindly give it to her. After all, he is a handsome and able young man. And every young and searching lady will jump at him. <sighs> Thank you for the insult. Mirabel? I... Richard is history. I'm dating Mike, my boss. I'm trying so hard to make my relationship work. Now, if dating a player will make you feel better or make you sleep well at night, then be my guest. Be my guest. What is wrong with both of you? And why do I sense this arrogance in the air? I hope I didn't do anything wrong by coming to inform you. What is wrong with you? Honestly, I don't understand you. Kill! You had gold in your hands. Or should I say, sugar in your mouth. And then, you spat it. Okay, fine. Even if you don't love Mike, at least you like him. I know you like him, even if it's just a little. I'm very sure that when you start getting older, hmm, you'll start appreciating him. Trust me. Jeez, I don't have feelings for this man. Do you realize how difficult it is to date a guy you absolutely have no feelings for? I can't. I, can't. I don't care. Let Mirabel have him. Okay, Please, just fine, drop it. Fine. I'm, it's even none of my business. I'm only telling you so that when it starts happening, you won't say your friend did not tell you. <laughs> You're so impossible. I am not getting any younger. And everybody knows Richie is a player. In fact, it's written all over him. I don't... I don't know, but... I don't think it's right for me to be in a relationship that I know is obviously going nowhere. I mean, it's just a waste of time. First of all, you're not yet in a relationship. And secondly, I think you should give it a chance. Give it a try. Come on, be too stiff. Hmm? Mm hmm so why should I listen to you? Oh, no, no, don't give me that look. I said, why should I listen to you when you never listen to me? <laughs> yeah, who's it?
you should be happy to have me as a daughter-in-law. Because that's what women like you deserve. Bragging brats. During my days, I never forced myself on a man. Men came to me. They lined up. They lined up because I was beautiful and rich. Shameless gold digger. Mm. <laughs> So interesting that I forgot to laugh. So, Mrs. Oboli, please tell me about your youth. You must have been so confused to have so many men at your doorstep. I knew what I wanted. And when I saw it... Oh, my big boy. <laughs> My baby, come on, come on, come on, and give mommy a hug. Come on. You know that motherly hugs are usually the best. And you know you are the best. Man. Of course I am. <laughs> and that is why mm. I don't get nothing but the best for the best. A pair of shoes for you, mom. For real? Yeah. For me? Enjoy. Oh, my darling. <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. That's so sweet. Mm. And for you, my love. What you asked for. My diamond! Yep. <laughs> diamond? Oh. You like it? Bernard, I love you so much. I love you more, baby. Thank you so much, my darling. Mom, isn't this amazing that I don't have so many men at my doorstep? I have just this one and only, Bernard, that loves me so much. I love you, my king. I love you more. You more. Ah. How's your day? Thank you, darling. Thank you, my baby. I love you. So how was it? Yeah. Yes, and a lot of sexy ladies. Ladies. Hello. Uh, 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 can I can I call you later, please? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When you do it, I enjoy it so much. Who was that? Oh. Um, a business partner. No, 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 not now. Look, look. I'm not denying the fact that there are so many out there, but sincerely, you're the only perfect one in my life. Believe me. Hello. Who am I talking to? Perfect. Okay, bye. Oh, happy. Oh, hold on a second. Magrai. Ombi Minungo. You're really getting on my nerves. Oh, yeah? Now, perfect is getting on your nerves. Richie, I am one woman who will not take any form of nonsense from you. Do you think I'm stupid? Don't even try that with me. You think I don't know there are other women out there? Name them! Colette, Nicole, Margaret, whatever. I will be your last. Oh yes, darling. I really want you to be my last. I want you to be my last. Believe me. Oh, just don't Come touch on, me. Darling. I, I really want don't you to be... Don't touch me and take your stupid name. Sorry, leg. darling. Don't I'm touch sorry, me. darling. I love you. I love you so much. Am I supposed to be impressed? How many girls have you said that to? Oh, no. Please, just get out. Come on, you and you alone. Sandra, I am here to talk to you about my brother. What about him? He's truly sorry. I'm here begging on his behalf because I've known him since we were kids. You're the only woman he's lasted this long in a relationship with. So? 
What I'm trying to say is that, please, you have to forgive him. Forgiveness? I forgave him a long time ago. And I hope you're not here to beg me for me to redate him back in prison. He deserves it. Let him serve his punishment. Look, I don't want anything that will remind me of Jude again. And where were you all through the trial process? Because I can't remember seeing you there. You of all his families. And all of a sudden you're here begging me to whisk me back into his life. It is over, Charles. Have a good night. So sweet. So sweet. It's alright. If you're happy, I am happy. You know what will make me happier? What? <laughs> Mike, please remove Vanessa's portrait from the room. Okay. I will do that, but not now. Are you in love with her? You are still in love with her? No! Mirabel, love has got nothing to do with that. You are not even going to deny it. You aren't? Come on, Mirabel. Just trust me. I'll take it up. Okay, you know what? I cross my heart. I want me to cross my heart. I cross my heart. I cross, cross, cross. <laughs> Come on, baby. Enjoy. You made this yourself? Of course. Awesome. Try what you do. Okay. Ah. Try it. Try what you do. See? Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah. So you like the food? Ah. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh my god! Baby Dykes, girlfriend, I've been itching to shop there. So, what did you get? Me wrong they look nice and they look quite expensive but you don't wear things like this the you that i know like the clingy thing so how come you got all this booba looking kind of stuff kelvin practically chose them all he didn't allow me to make my choice and you didn't say anything kel you should have told him you don't wear things like this why get things you won't even wear? No, tell me, what's the point? Getting something you know you won't wear at the end of the day. Okay, were you listening to me? I was. I said he, I was not allowed to talk. So what would I have said? Oh. This is not bad. This is not bad. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <sighs> Joe, he told me that if I, if I choose anything, I'll pay. <laughs> oh, you pay. I'll tell him. Joe, I'll switch it. Oh, no, mad. Stop it! I'm mad. Your boyfriend has got to take you out. I, I think you like this one. You can have this one. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. What is, is it a scale or a child? I don't know. Jesus. I should Jesus. ask you, you did the shopping. <laughs> oh. And any day you decide to wear this, don't even bother following <laughs> me to school. Are you crazy? President Karzai's credibility is at stake after accusations of fraud in the 2009 presidential election. The Taliban are boycotting the vote and the threatened attacks. Tell 
President Karzai's credibility is at stake after accusations of fraud in the 2009 presidential election. Can I, Can I see you for a minute? Honey, it's 2 a.m. and I'm feeling so honey. Baby, is that why you called me out? Am I supposed to leave mom in the living room and go make love to you? Ben. Be reasonable. Come, it's not all about sex. I want to be with my man. I want to feel your warmth. I want you to hold me. Ask a girl what she's doing in her boyfriend's house. I called you several times and someone appears not to be taking my calls. And some bitch picked up the phone. First, I'm not obligated to answering your calls. Secondly, why are you finding it difficult to interpret the handwriting on the wall? What writing? I initiated this relationship, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> and it is not over until I say so. I work toward making this relationship what it is today. Congratulations. Good job. But I'm sure you know your way out. You haven't heard the last of me. You don't even have an idea who you're messing up with. After all the time and money I invested in you. Perfect delivery. But out. Get out! Out! I am not being disrespectful or rude. I only ask the question, why haven't you been picking my calls? I'm not in a good mood. I walk with my mood. And I don't feel like it. I am not trying to compare you to anyone. Okay, but my ex-boyfriend calls me more than 20 times a day. Now, here I am, st stuck with a guy who hardly picks my call. 
Why didn't you stick with him then? I want to ask you a question. Before the innovation of mobile phones, weren't people having a successful relationship? I suggest you stick with things that hold water instead of basket of unanswered calls. Baby, I can continue with this food. Oh. It's too much pepper in it. I'm sorry, baby. <coughs> sorry. It was a mistake. It was no mistake. A girl that lacks home training, lacks home training. A girl that cannot cook, cannot cook. <coughs> it took me six years, six solid years to have this child. So I will not let you kill him with your bad food. What mothers are for. Thank you, Mom. It's real food. Thanks. Good food. It's mother's food. This looks great. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> mm, very nice. Yeah, trust your mama. <laughs> Wow. Baby, you have to join me, seriously. Excuse me. My dear, don't mind that I enjoy your meal, John. Take yourself. Mom, this is really nice. Mom, this is great. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you haven't lost it. Mmm, mm. too long to make me <laughs> Is that you hold it? None of your business, please. It's all right. I'm talking, talking to you. How dare you pick up the pictures like that, man? You're not even man enough to face me. I don't want to go into a fight this night. Oh, yeah? You don't? Hey, 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 my hey, don't touch me. Do you hear me? 
Leave me alone! I've had enough for one night. Just let me be. You see? That's my problem with you. You knock too much, you talk too much, and that gets to me. Call me a nag? You open your mouth to call me a nag. I hate that name, damn it! You are the one that virtually complained about everything I did tonight. The way I sit, the way I look, the way I smile, the way I dress. You complain about everything. You, you are in a quarrelsome mood. What is wrong with you? You know what? I've had enough. And this is the time for us to redefine this relationship. Marry me. I wasn't expecting it, and then it happened. Fan, see, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Are you okay? I'm fine. So what's up with the go-go? Nothing, what's wrong with it? Nothing, really. Take it off. Take what off? I said take it off. I said take it off. I want to see your face. Van, take it off or get off my face. What will you stop? Just take it off. Okay, fine. Just take it off. What? Is this what you want to see? Who did this? Kelvin? I told the picture of his ex and he pounced on me. He pounced on me and hit me. He hit me down last night because I complained about another woman's picture. Oh God, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I can't believe it. Talking to someone. And does that someone happen to me? Who do you think I'm talking to? There's a third party in this house. Where's she? Look, Bernard. I'm a lady who doesn't cross her boundaries. Who 
cooking for you in this house is no longer my priority. So go get your chef and let her do the cooking, okay? Extinction. I just lost everything. I lost my mind. And you hit her. Look, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your family, relationship, or your life. But as my brother, it has become a thing of concern to me that you hit women each time you both have a misunderstanding. Samantha is gone. What's your excuse? You can't tell me Vanessa is half stubborn as Samantha. Richie, I know I'm not laying a good example. Just, just forgive me. I, I lost everything. I got vexed. It's okay. I'll give you a book on anger management. And you also have to understand the fact that they're weaker vessels. So you need a lot of patience tolerance, endurance, and overlook lots of the shortcomings if you live in peace with a woman. Calvin, any man who hates a woman is not sure of his position. That's why he resorts to beating and hitting to prove that he's in control. You think about that. Really? Huh? I'm very sure you rehearsed those lines like 200 times before you came here. And with that poor delivery you just made. You, I am not impressed. Hey baby. I'm very self-explanatory, so I don't think I'll need to tell you what is on ground. Maggie, I was not listening to your conversation. What at least you have to do. You just have to listen to me. Somewhere where I can treat you real good. Hmm? I don't want to hurt you no more. I'm sorry. Think about it. You love it. I'm sorry. Baby, so it has gotten to the point where you no longer greet me. Bernard, your mom is bent on frustrating me out of this relationship. 
I'm almost giving in and you're making matters worse. Why? Why? Vacation. Vacation. He loves her. Oh, she loves him. She loves him. But he loves her. Now who is loving who? And who is deceiving who? And who's cheating on who? It's so confusing. Seems like it's love. They're abusing. And each other. They're using. Seems like it's love. They're abusing. And one another. Ooh, they're using. So stay with whom you truly love. Open, open your eye To see and know what you're getting into So that you might not have any regrets Cause this love is hard to find So if you find it, better keep it So be careful So that you don't into the wrong hand Try to understand, so be careful. Go for the true love. So stay with whom you truly love. You truly love. Cause true love is hard to find. So, to find. so stay true to whom you really love. Cause if you lose this love, you may never you find doing? it again. Yeah, we just got it. Okay. I miss you too. Okay, I'll send someone to your room immediately. Good day, Mr. Charles. Hello, good day. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, my key, please. Yeah, your package has been sent to you. Wow, that's great. Thank you, right? Now, babes, listen, I want you to just listen to me. You get it? I, I know. What is, don't just take it. Don't wait what has happened. Please, just try and understand. All I want you to know is, I'll explain myself. You get it? Just listen to me. You know what? Yeah, well, what? Your breath stinks. Come on. You don't have to say that, you know. That's some bad taste. Kevin, I will say worse things if you do not buzz off. Don't tell me this couple is still fighting. Come on, Calvin. Do a better apologizing and she would accept you. But Rich, I... I 
I'll leave you both for now. Baby, Hello, I'm sorry. What's up? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm fine, no. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, no. I said I'm sorry. I'm fine. I, I said I'm sorry. Can you listen? No, it's not normal. It's not normal. Oh, 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 what? What? What do you want? What? What do you want? I want you. Um, um, Michael. Um, no, no, we just got back. I'm tired. Come on. Excuse me. I'm not talking about sex. You have a rough in mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what do you want? Okay. Um, I'm offering to give your body massage. No, no, please. No. Please. No. I'm on my knees. I'm, I'm tired. I want to see. I'm on my knees. No, my sad. My sad. I'm going to shout. It's a hotel. <laughs> no Calm massage. Down. No! Rip. No! Rip. No massage! I miss you so much. I miss your tender touch. I miss being with you and the things we used to do. Oh, if I could turn back the hands of time, you would be mine again. Just one look at you And the memories comes floating back Oh, I remember all the things we did together And the things we said to each other Ooh, I want it back Ooh, I want you back just for a moment, let me hold you like I used to And feel the love once again Ooh. I miss you so much Ooh, I miss you so much I miss your tender touch Ooh, the tender touch I miss being with you with the things we used to do. We used to oh, do. if I could turn back the hands of time, you would be mine again. You would be mine again. Oh, I will make you mine. Ooh, I know we both have another, but at this moment, it doesn't matter. Oh, cause I feel the fire And I'm burning with this hurt desire Ooh, come let me take you there Where we used to be, you and I oh. I wanna show you that love that you want me Let's feel that sweet pleasure of love Ooh, oh, baby, don't say no to me. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I miss you tender touch. Oh, I miss being with you and the things we used to do. Oh, if I could turn back the hands of time, I would be mine again.
I love you too. I love the way I feel about you. Mm. Really? <laughs> Listen, what's wrong with you? Why are you playing deaf about this? I've said I'm sorry, I've said it over a million times. But you're still adamant about it. I want to go home. And you came here under duress? What? Do you want me to remind you? Remind me. Remind me of how stubborn you are and how cantankerous you can be? I'm sorry, period. I don't want your sorry. What? How can I be in a relationship and I'm not free? I cannot be myself. I cannot say what I want to say. I cannot be free with you. I don't want your sorry. I want to go home. She made mockery of me in front of everyone. You were there and you did nothing. Nothing about it. It's a month for you, you know. Babes. Babes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I gave her the opportunity to, to, to do that to you. Listen. We came in here to settle our defenses and also strengthen our love. Samantha's case is a far cry from any positive change now. Listen. You're a thousand times better than Samantha. And that's what I love. I love you so much. You're my dumb girl. I'm sorry. For ever hitting you. And I will never ever raise my hands again upon you. Apologize. Hmm? And I'm sorry. I will never ever raise my hands against you again. And I will never hit you. I swear. I'm sorry. I apologize. Tools? No, no, no. This is wrong. What's this? What's this? This is wrong. It's easy for you, ain't it? You have Richie who loves you, who cares about you, who does anything you want. Kelvin does as well. It's just his nature he has to work on. Okay, so don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. Besides, did you see the way that scumbag of an ex talked to us? <laughs> I just can't get over it, honestly. Everyone did. Go Everyone on. did. Kevin begs me all through the night. I'm telling you. Of course he has to. I mean, the girl was rude. Outright rude. She is a bitch. She even tried to spite me. <laughs> oh my god, nobody told her. You know, she shouldn't play with me. I mean, she shouldn't try such with me because me, 
I'm not going to take it. I'll just beat her blue and black. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, I don't even blame her at all. Uh, it's not her fault. I don't blame her. Babes, go and get dressed. Let's wear a condom to a little with cold water. What? I am allergic to cold water. Sorry, he says he's sorry. He's, he's sorry. Your boyfriend. <laughs> well, irrespective of you dating a man that hates you, you still look beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your room number? What? What's your room number? Okay, what's your room? Okay, I stay in 542. <laughs> That's like opposite us, our suit. We have a lot. Okay, baby. Ah, Feel like you're right on top of me. Feel like you're right on top of me, baby. Oh, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Please, I need a little information about where my friends are staying. Oh, that's impossible. So we have a policy here. We don't disclose confidential information. Is that why you're rude? I'm you're sorry, very man. stupid. I'm Shut up! Is that why you are rude? Ma, what please. is going on here? I presume you're the manager. That's correct. See, I bumped into some of my friends lately at the bar and I forgot to ask for their room numbers and I was asking the silly girl and she's being rude. Are you locked here? Yes, I am. Um, what are their names and your room number? Kelvin and Richard and my room number is 240. Okay, I'll scan through my sister and ask for their permission to give you their room numbers. Okay. I'll prefer you ask Kelvin. Thank you so much. You're so nice. That's my job. Um, I'm Jemima. Samantha. Very silly girl. I'm sorry, madam. I was not good to You know, my ex was there and I did not give him as much attention as you gave yours. It's not enough for you to dress up to take a walk. Perhaps that will make me feel better. My goodness, you couldn't even hide the fact that you're still attracted to her. Are you jealous? Mira, but there's no point being jealous here. It's you that I want. I forbid you to speak to her. I forbid her to speak to you. I forbid you from going anywhere close to her. And I forbid her certainly from coming close to you at any point whatsoever. I don't care if her boyfriend hit her, she made her choice. Yes, ma. Are you okay? Okay, okay, I'm sorry I screamed. I, I'm not trying to give you orders, honestly. I'm not trying to, but... Can we drop this subject, please? Are you okay now? You okay?
can't wait for us to leave this place. Babes, I've got this bad feeling about your ex being around. And it frightens me. Kelvin, I want us to ask ourselves what we really need from each other. I love everything about you. Except the battery part. I will not take it. I can't. So the next time you lay your hand on me, I will be far, 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 far from your reach. Do you understand me? And for the records, I have nothing with my ex. Yes, come in. Wow, you're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you. Mr. Charles, are you having fun? Oh, do you want me to arrange? Oh, you know, I'm not really into women. Really? Yeah. So what are you into? My work, of course. <laughs> Come, do you ever have time to hang out with your family, friends, I mean, loved ones? Because you're always neck deep into work. You see, Jen, if I tell you where I'm coming from, you will realize there's no time to spend playing around. I came from one of the poorest families in this country. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You don't have to. My father was a very lazy man. My mom did all the hard work, the suffering, and it amounted to nothing. So tell me, how do I grow up to emulate my father when I know the consequences of laziness? Someone like me wouldn't even dare date you because you won't have time for me. Well, down to why I invited you. You see, my ex is in this hotel. And I don't know how to reach her. You really need to help me out. Her name is Margaret. Margaret? Yes. Margaret is Seku? Yes, that's her. You know her. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're the guy that stood her up on her last birthday. Mm -hmm. You know Margaret, but it's not actually what you think. But that's her. You know her. Please, you really need to help me out. You mean she's in this hotel? Yes. I'll find her. That's a promise, because I really need to see her myself. Oh God, please, thank you. I'll be very grateful if you do this for me, okay? Thank you. Hey, wait. You don't need to go through all that. Just search for the guests that lodged between yesterday and today and that are still with us. Okay, ma'am. And search for Richie and Kelvin. That lady asked for it. Okay, ma'am. Madam, Richard, email 252. Michael Odafe, 524. Bernardo Boli, 240. Yinka Oyefele, 100. Tell me, have you gotten the room number? Yes, I'm on time. 
It's 525. 525. Five. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Everything okay? I'm good. No. It's written all over your face that everything is not okay. Seriously, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm sure you can look at your friends now. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry, please. For the records. I didn't seek their consent before letting you have them. I understand. And I appreciate it so much. You see, Kelvin is my ex. And he's here with um, his new girl. And you, you're here alone? Oh, no. I'm here with my boyfriend. But you see... There's this thing about my ex. Gosh, he's so sexy. Oh, <laughs> you know, but that doesn't mean I don't love my boyfriend. I do love my boyfriend, but you should understand. I understand. <laughs> so, what do you intend to do? A quickie with my ex. <laughs> uh, you know, there's this thing about your ex looking so good. After breaking up, you know, it reminds you of how you fell in love with him, how sexy he was. <laughs> you get it, right? Yeah, honestly. But he loves her Now who is loving who And who is deceiving who And who is cheating on who It's so confusing Seems like it's love They're abusing And each other They're using Seems like it's love They're abusing And one another Mr. Charles, right? Yes. Hey, you. Uh huh. That they say it's for you. was given to all the guests of Honeymoon Hotel by Jemima, the senior manager, for a get-together she organized in appreciation of their patronage. Yeah, at the event, they saw their exes. They came face to face with their exes. Mm -hmm. Samantha hugged Kelvin and whispered to him, meet me at the bar. Oh yeah, and Charles gave Maggie a romantic handshake and she whispered to him, I still love you. Mirabel, I love your eyes, the way you smile, the way you laugh. I love you so much, Mirabel. With you around me, Mirabel, I'm crushed already. I love you so much. My dream for the day I'll be your wife. 
I dream for the day I'll, I'll say I, I do. I do? I've said that the very first day I met you, Mirabel. I'm not gonna stop until you tell me you love me. That's all, that's all. Is that it? Yes, yes. Come here. Baby. I don't love you. Baby, you can not stop her. No, Oh, fine, I love you. Mm -hmm. One day here, one day. I love you. Okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. Let's play a sexual. Because there's this particular brand of wine that is befitting tonight. But the name eludes me, so I've got to go downstairs and get it! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know ah. I don't sleep before you return. I'd suggest you grab a glass because you and I are going to be having a long night. Hey, so tell me, how is my friend, Margaret? She's fine. She's asleep. What is it? I was thinking, Rich, why do men think they can get away with things? They're like hurting women and all. I see the way you treat Margaret. Now, if I remember correctly, during our two years of dating, you never took me out. And even when you did, you stood me up. And then you bring her to this expensive place for a lover's time out? Mirabel, I'll be here to discuss Margaret. We are here to discuss the fact that I gave you two years of my life. Two years! And all you did was throw it at my face with a caution or warning! And then you 
You see me and you act like we never met? Like I never existed? Honestly? Really? Mirabel, you have Mike. I am talking about two years I wasted on you or with you. Sorry is not enough, Rich. Sorry can't change anything. No. I know this is wrong, but I love you. I love you so much and I miss you. I miss us. I know this is wrong, but I can't help it. I really do miss you. I miss you so much. Please, please. I, I just want you back. I, I love you. I do. I really... I, it's okay, babe. Sort out the wine with um, Richie and... Shut up! Jesus! You're such a liar! Which Richie? I thought I could change you. What's wrong with you? Shut up! You're still lying! Kill me. <laughs> yeah, guess who I saw at the hotel today? Jemima. She's at the hotel here with us. Really? Is she with a man? <laughs> no, mom. She works here. She's the senior manager. Why don't you talk to her? I mean, be friendly with her. You guys can rework back on your relationship. Mom, if I remember correctly, you never liked her. And plus, she cheated on me. Have you forgotten? Bernard, you have the word forgiveness in your vocabulary. Are you still talking to her? Are you still talking to her? You never can tell. We should just, I mean, just give it a trial. It is going to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I certainly prefer that girl to this calm you call your girlfriend. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. <laughs> no, I love you more. <laughs> fact that you have moved on. Oh, please, girl, that is way too risky. And I'm not about to lose everything I have just because of an ex. Margaret, I'm not asking you to go back to me. Just talk to him and that's all. You actually don't know what you're asking me to do. And that is a noble area. What you saw is not what you think. I love Margaret. I've never loved any woman in my life. But I'm crazy about your friend. Believe me. She wouldn't say a word, or would she? The hell I would. Kevin, Margaret is my friend. If Richie isn't decided on what he wants, he should decide. Instead of toying with my friend's emotions, I will not take it. I'm taking it too far. 
promise, if Margaret caught you with another, she will not hesitate to tell you. I think I'm a bad friend. Come on. There's nothing there. It's just, you're just saving our relationship, that's all. Yes, yes, please. please. What? Walk and talk. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right then. Man, she's not gonna say a word. <sighs> I pray she doesn't. No, she wouldn't. I bet she would. Don't worry. Cheer up, dude. You're gonna be all okay. I bet you. target heaven so when I when I fall I fall within the stars will you marry me <laughs> I did it okay I'm good oh I'm good You didn't trust me. That's why you came with your friend. A wrong son the blood, remember? Oh, what? No, no, she did. She didn't say that. Um, I'm sorry, you know what? I will go. <sighs> I didn't come here to sit. Charles, you just have five minutes. And believe you me, you better start making very good use of it. Margaret, you never stop proclaiming how much you love me. But it didn't take you a minute to walk out of my door and end it all. Did I ever lie to you about anything? Did I maltreat you? Did you ever love me? I came back and... After some months? I traveled out of the country. You know I was meant to travel. And all communication avenues were short? Charles, you love your job. Just look at you. I can't believe you came all the way to Ogun State to lodge just to concentrate on your job. You will never change. You are so married to your job and your laptop. 
It's over. No, listen. It is over, and I mean it. Maggie, you have to understand. Listen, I still love you. Maggie. That's all. And you needed a watchdog, right? Richie. Shush. Shut up your mouth. Why are you being so hard? He said he wanted us to talk, and that was all we did. Talk. Margaret. You be thinking about the shoulder or walking share Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I didn't do anything. What right does Richie have to be angry? What, what, what right? What are you saying? That is my boyfriend, Van. So he has every right to be angry and jealous. Oh, please. Jealous? Jealous about what? You know what? Just don't worry. He, I'm sure he'll get over it. Yeah, right. Easy for you to say because you are at peace with Calvin. That is not it, Margaret. That is so not it. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm... How did your conversation go with Charles? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I reassured him again that it's over between us. Margaret. I hope we are not making the biggest mistakes of our lives with our new choice of partners. Why would you say that? You won't understand. You won't. Why would you say that? Seriously, dear. I think you should let him go and move on with what you have. What I have. Girlfriend, I don't have anything. Nothing. What do you mean? Don't you get it? I'm dating a guy who is married to his mom. Anytime we want to spend together, his mom comes in intruding. It's crazy. Feel it crazy. I understand how you feel. Trust me. You don't, Jemima. You don't. I regret ever letting Kelvin go. Mama, hear me out. Please hear me out. I'm listening to you. Can we sit somewhere and talk? No. What is wrong with you? What is wrong? What goes with all the attitude? You're the one that cheated on me. So what is all this? I think you are so blind. And that worries me about you. Jemima, I'm not done talking to you. Don't leave. You're not making sense as to what you want. Bernard. I might not know what I want, but I'm sure of one thing. I don't want you. I don't. And for all your cheating, I forgive you. I think you should spend more time with your girlfriend so that you don't lose her.
Ew. So please tell me, what's it like living in a real state? Kiss, 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 kiss. I know it's boring. <laughs> My dear, it's been quite boring because I'm lonely. But my job makes it fun for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it wouldn't be all boring. Something was making it fun for you. You know, I think Ogun is beautiful. That's the little I've seen of it. And I intend to see more. Could be the all that boring. Oh, come on, guys. What? Babes, I need to go downstairs. Oh. Gotta catch up some drinks. Stop, please. Damn it. Stop it. You are so shit. Why is Richie cold? Well, I guess he's still upset, you know? But we'll talk about it when he comes back. It's beginning to get on my nerves. Um, girl, come. You need to watch Kelvin very closely. And be very careful, Samantha. Oh, please. Who, Samantha? Man! <laughs> if that girl comes close, she'll just realize she's messing with the wrong people. Because I will do that. I'm gonna show her that Margaret is not as good as she looks. But what, what, what is she doing? Don't she mess with my life. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, babe, she don't try him. Wait. Hey, you let that girl not try me, yo. Oh. Oh. She don't even think that. Because I go share with her from. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, she shouldn't try to. You know, go funny at all. What? You're just making noise, honestly, because just leave her to me. I will whoop her ass so bad. I should go and cry so bad. Just trust me. Just, so just boom. But this <laughs> is Samantha could not let go. She eventually succeeded in seducing Kelvin at the bar. As both of them were entangled in a very serious romantic kiss. As they were entangled in a very hot romantic kiss. Brad walked in, followed by Vanessa. Before Kelvin could utter any explanation, the two girls pounced on her and beat her mercilessly. Richard, Mirabel, and Bernard hurriedly walk in as Jemima and Kelvin try to stop.
Okay. Pick me! Playing that same role again in my life. No, it's not acceptable. Go home. I am not what you want. You are. No! No! I am not! I beg you, please. I'm so sorry. I swear I am. I'm sorry, please, my please. of the luggage you brought into my house. Take it and get out and get out of my son's life. Let me handle this, please. Okay? Looks like that. It's not like I'm trying to pay you off for something. 
It's just that I know that your family don't stay in town and you need a place to stay. Get yourself a good apartment with it. I don't want you moving in with the next guy you date. All right? All right. All right. Thank you. Tell me, between you and I, what is it about this guy, Kevin, that you would risk losing all you have just for a moment with him. The truth is, as a man, Bernard, you don't have a mind of your own. You don't. Whoever has a little authority over you controls you. Just like I know your mom told you to give me this check. Just like I also know that as much as I don't want this relationship anymore, there's a part of you that really wants me to stay. But as usual, mommy says no. Mommy, mommy, mommy. something I know I'll never find. Look, in no time he's going to realize that you loved him. How? How? I embarrassed him. I gave myself cheaply to Richie. I was jealous. He loved Maggie. He loved her so much and he showered her with so much love and attention. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing came over me, okay? Please just stop crying. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. She loves you so much. I've been there. I guess that's the reason I was jealous of you. It's okay. No. It's not okay. I have no right to hurt you. I'll be jealous of you. And I am sorry. You know... I'm surprised myself because I know it's not in your nature to do things like this. But hey, I also meant it when I said it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, how is my day out? He's still mad at me. I hope he finds a place in his heart to forgive me.
So just forget everything. So what do I owe him? No, 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 no. Don't tell me about that. Just tell me, what do you want to do? Yeah, what is it? Hi, babes. Hello, babes. It's me. What do you want? Babes, I need to see you, please. We need to sort out some things, please. Oh, come on, babes. I need to see you, please. I want to see you. We're sorting out some things. Can we stop wasting your time? There's nothing to talk about. Come on, babes, please. I need to talk to you. Please, just calm down, please. I need to see you. Let's sort out this. I'm dying out here. Just one look at you And the memories comes floating back Oh, I'm I remember all the things we did together And the things we said to each other Ooh, I want it back Ooh, I want you back just for a moment, let me hold you like I used to And feel that love once again Ooh. I miss you so much Ooh, I miss you so much I miss your tender touch Ooh, the tender touch I miss being with you and the things we used to do. We used to oh, do. if I could turn back the hands of time, oh, you will be mine again. You will be mine oh, again. I will make you mine. Jemima, I'm very happy you could honor this invitation. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. I know my mom lied about you. About the photograph. About the cheating and, and all that. I know I should have listened to you. My bad. And for that I am I want to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm I'm really, really sorry. Just like that. Hmm? You know, I don't know who is more high handed. You or your mom? Hmm? You, know, you know what's Bernard? I dated that guy. I'm insisting that I did tell No, you did not. I know you did not. I'm amazed. Dazed and disappointed. That after six years of relationship, it took a mere picture and one line statement of conviction to tear us apart. You know, it takes more than having a third leg in between your legs to be called a man. Bernard, you are not a man. Go and learn from real men. Until then, stay married to your mother. Jemima. Good night. Jemima. Jemima. Maggie, I quit. You quit what? My job. Charles, you own the company, so why are you quitting? You see, sweetheart, I stopped doing those business that takes me out of town regularly. And I quit because I love you. Terry, please come back to my home where you belong. I mean your rightful place. No matter how bad things are today. 
I've always been there for you. Please. You just have to understand with me, okay? Please. Just have to please. Let me just pick this call, please. Yeah, hello? Oh, the warehouse in the Kurodi is open? Wow, that's nice, that's nice. All right, just make sure that everything is in place, okay? Yes, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Yes. All right, thank you. Wow. So. you would never come. And please don't make me regret coming. See, Richie, I really don't have a lot of time to waste. So whatever it is you want to say, just be quick about it. Okay. Please sit down. My bread. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to lose you. Believe me sincerely, there was no intention between Mirabel and Hai. It was just a kiss. A kiss I could not avoid. I'm very sorry about that. And I'm very regretful, baby. <laughs> regretful about what? Going back to your ex? No, don't get it wrong. I'm not going back to her. Please, I've never loved any woman in my life. It is you alone that I love. Make no mistake about that, Margaret. I'm sorry. It is only you I love. I've never loved any woman in my life. M Margaret, make no mistake about that. I beg you. Richie, you are embarrassing me, okay? No, let me embarrass myself. I beg you, darling. Please believe me. All I want is to make you my last. Fine, I agree. I have so many ways of treating women. But when it comes to you, Margaret, I'm being sincere. I love you so dearly, darling. I'm sorry. One more cheating rumor, and I'm out. Yes, I agree, darling. Just forgive me. <laughs> okay, fine. I forgive you. Thank you so much, my love. I love you so much. <laughs> Just, just sit down first. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Are you Mirabel? No. Mirabel! Good evening. Good evening. Uh, this way. From who? From Mike. Mike? Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 You and I, I want to show you the love that you once knew. Let's feel that sweet pleasure of love. Oh, my baby, don't sing oh to me. I miss you so much. I miss you. 
I miss you so much. I miss your tender touch. 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 Oh, I miss being with you and the things we used to do. Oh, if I could. such an attention seeker. You want to hear from my mouth, right? Okay, you're beautiful. I am beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Kelvin, what do you want? You, baby. Me. Miss Kate, what's wrong with you? You owe me an apology. Start rendering. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. I'm extremely sorry, baby. And I'm very, very sorry. Oh. That is so romantic. Apology is not accepted. And that is so not true. Shall we go now? Excuse me? I was going somewhere else. I changed your plans. Shall we go? He loves her Now who is loving who And who is deceiving who And who is cheating on who It's so confusing Seems like it's love They're abusing And each other They're using Seems like it's love They're abusing And one another Ooh, they're using Open, open your eye To see and know what you're getting into So that you might not have any regrets Cause this love is hard to find So if you find it Better keep it So be careful So that you don't into the wrong hand Telling us about the kind of people we must never marry. Yes. For the ladies, the lady 
who never stops demanding. The lady who does not respect her parents or guardians. The lady who keeps threatening to break up the relationship. And the men, those who console their parents for everything. The man who is frivolous with women. The man who has no respect or regards for you. Mm -hmm. There's more, but I choose to stop here. So ladies, stay focused. Until the next time I come your way, I remain Adeline. He loves her now. Who is loving who? And who is deceiving who? And who is cheating on who? It's so confusing. Seems like it's love. They're abusing and each other. They're using. Seems like it's love. They're abusing and one another. Getting into so that you might not have any regrets, cause this love is hard to find. So if you find it, better keep it. So be careful so that you don't into the wrong hands. Try to understand, so be careful. Go for the truth. Love. So stay with whom you truly 